Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Records Module Training Introduction. My name is Erica, and I have been with Crystal over the past eight years. I primarily work in the Records Module, doing trainings, answering questions. I do record editing, help out the development team testing things and implementing new features. To get started with the Records Training, you should have in your welcome packet this Records Training Outline. If you do not have it, you can go ahead and download it now. The records training is segmented into different parts, so it's just a systematic approach to the training. The first part is part one that you're going to do on your own. You should have Crystal installed. If you do not, you'll want to reach out to michelle at crystalpm.com and go ahead and get that installation scheduled. Once you've got Crystal installed, you're going to load the Crystal PM template into your software. This will ensure that you have the most up-to-date iteration of the template. There are instructions right here. If you have any trouble, you can let us know, but it should be pretty straightforward. Once you've got the records template installed, you're going to go ahead and watch the Crystal PM records module full. This is the records training. It's a little bit different than the other trainings in the fact that some of your other trainings you are going to be virtually or in-house with a trainer. Anybody working in the records should definitely watch that just so you have full scope of the records module. The third thing, it's not required, but I do have a good to know section on our help website. That's going to go through additional things that are just, as the name implies, good to know for the records. It does have a lot of things on it, so it takes a moment to load. But it's going to go over everything in, for instance, the admin section that applies to the records. So you can see all of the uh, parts in admin that pertain to the records. A lot of it is just different settings and options. Okay, so there's that. Uh, also, when you're in the records, there's drop down options. All right. So for some custom settings that you may want to have on your workstation, it just goes through and outlines exactly what those mean. Also, uh, the records completed checkbox. This is a question that I get a lot. All right. And then just a couple other things. I mean, you can go ahead and scan through it. So it's not required, but it is kind of nice to have all the information at your hands. So after you've got the template loaded, you've watched the video. Then we'll go ahead and do the post video Q&A call. I will send you meeting information and I'll get logged in with you. Sometimes it's just with one doctor and nobody else. Other times there's five doctors and a couple techs. And, and so really whoever needs to attend that Q&A call can definitely come. You guys can all watch it or sign in from your personal computer. And then we'll go over any questions that you may have. Uh, also any like functionality, maybe you came from another software and there's just some things that you're unsure about. So really just any questions that you have. Uh, the next steps after the Q&A session, that's going to be for you a little bit of homework is to familiarize yourself with the template. You'll want to take your paper exams or your exams from your other software, and you'll want to start entering those into Crystal. That is going to not only give you a chance to become familiar with where everything is at, so that way you're not struggling on your first day going live. We definitely don't want that. So make sure that you do this important step. And also, uh, to just to multitask a little bit while you're going through and entering your exams, it's the perfect time to jot down in a notebook or maybe a Google Doc any additional questions that arise while you're doing this. And then also, it's a really great opportunity to jot down any notes that you might want to make uh, any record edits that you may need to make to the template. That could be anything from removing something, uh, removing a complete tab. Maybe you don't do any dry eye in your office. Maybe you don't do scleral lenses. So we can remove entire tabs or just little sections that you don't do. And then that way it's really catered to your office and you just don't have a lot of extra things on there. Uh, it can also be moving some things around to better match your workflow. Maybe there's a test that you do that's not currently in the records and we need to add it in. So just, you know, general things like that, just general changes that you may need to make. Now, once you are 
you're good to go. You've done your homework. You're comfortable in the records, uh, but you've got this list of maybe things that you need to change. That's where we can go in and the records can be edited. There's a couple different ways to do it. There's not a right or wrong. Uh, you may use a combination of all of these, but just so you know what is available, there are videos and resources. So if you'd like to do some of the editing yourself, like definitely the F9 drop downs, that's something that you can do yourself and you're probably going to want to know how to do that. So there's a intro to records editing. It's a short video. And then you can go through and uh, watch the video on how to change the drop downs. And then if you are comfortable with that and you're like, hey, this is actually not too bad. There are other videos that go through um, in order of difficulty. <laughs> so the first thing would be to edit your drop downs. And then uh, the second video would be if you need to add and remove items. And then move things around. And then it goes into progressively more difficult videos like doing the buttons. So those are available for you or anybody in your office who may want to do some of the editing. Of course, if you don't have time, you're not comfortable, that's totally fine. You can send us a list of edits. And then we can also do an over the phone editing session. Each office is allowed allotted 60 minutes of free editing per year. New offices, existing offices, every year, the first of the year, your 60 minutes resets. So that way you can stay up to date with any changes that you may need to make. If you have a lot of edits uh, and you're really going for something like super custom, after that 60 minutes is up, then there is a charge of $100 an hour for editing. That is considered software customizations. And that is also why some offices will choose to do some of their own editing, get the easy things out of the way, and then schedule or print out the list of edits. You can make modifications for going live. And this is actually uh, something that we do suggest. Get all your edits done before you go live. And then that way you have just like one less thing to worry about, right? You've got it all squared away. Um, you're good to go. So we can do those edits even if you have the demo version. Part four is going to be customizing the letters and the word templates. We do start you out with templates that you can use right out of the gate. That's going to be for exporting your exam information into an exam summary or a comprehensive exam or a referral letter. There's there's a handful of different templates that we have. So we can go through how to edit them, or if you're interested in creating one from scratch, we can do that as well. Before you go live, we will have a final template appointment, and that's not for editing, that's more for questions that you have, a catch-all just before that go live date just to make sure you've got a handle on everything. Do you know how to print your exams? Uh, do you know how to go through and edit the exams? Um, if you don't finish one day, maybe you have an emergency and you need to edit records from a prior date. Things like that, just the, the little things, kind of like when you're moving and you're like, okay, we're done. But then there's just a couple last little things that you need to pack into the back of the car. That's what that is for. That's really the training outline broken up. The last thing is going to be integrations that pertain to the records. This is going to be anything from e-prescribing. This will go through and tell you where to sign up and how that process goes. The patient portal, if you want to utilize that to send your patients their uh, records and their prescriptions online versus printing it out, your patient portal is already set up and ready to go. You just need to know how to use it. The online forms and machines, these are going to be done when you have your live version. Okay, you have to have your live version. It's a really good idea to have all of your record template edits done as well. And then we can have those set up for you. And then just a couple other things, uh, contact lens ordering, if you're going to be utilizing any of these entities to order contact lens through Crystal and just a couple other you know, random things that you can take a look at here. That is the outline in a nutshell. The next time that you hear from me will be for the Q&A call. So I will uh, look forward to hearing from you then and we'll go over any questions that you have. Thanks for watching.